you can see that it's returned a CSV file. And let's look at that CSV file. And lo and behold, there's the symbol, there's the price, and it was down 1.11%. Uh, um, pretty, pretty cool. All right, so how do we get that in our app? And then later we'll go over how we process uh, this information. So let's go back into Eclipse. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a, uh, a variable using the URL class. And we'll call it URL. And let me underline it here or look at this underline and we're going to import the URL package and uh, now let's go ahead and uh, initialize this variable with uh, our URL so I'm going to say URL equals new we're going to create a new um, object and we're going to pass the URL, which is HTTP slash slash download dot finance dot yahoo dot com slash D slash quotes dot CSV. And now we're going to put the symbol in as G O O G and uh, just like I did in the browser, uh, we're going to say that we want the symbol, we want the price, and we want the percent. All right, so now um, we've got uh, our URL, but we've got an error here, and let's see what it says. Okay, it says surround with try and catch. No, this isn't phishing. Um, what the compiler is telling you is there's certain times when you do something that the compiler knows it is so fraught with potential error that they're telling you you've got to uh, you've got to account for the potential error and that's where I try and catch I'm gonna go ahead and say okay surround it with the uh, try and catch so there we are so you'll see uh, we've got a code block that says try and then catch and uh, we have a, a variable um, created this E which is the malformed U URL exception and then uh, we, we take that reference object and um, the class has a method that says print stack trace okay so what does all that junk mean what it means is if you uh, were to put in let's say HTTP that's gonna return uh, that's gonna what they call throw an error and you're gonna catch that here so you're gonna try to do something if you get an error thrown at you you're gonna catch it and then you're gonna do something with that error which in this case was saying print uh, stack trace let's go back to the blackboard here for a second so so we're gonna try something and if we get we're gonna try something here and if it gets thrown back at us we're going to catch it and we're going to do something um, with it. And certain uh, certain methods will throw certain errors. And this malformed uh, URL, URL exception is one of them. And you saw that variable E and then print stack or something like that. What that's doing is it's going to take the gist of this error and give you some information and it's going to pass it to something called the system I need to be able to spell ERR -R. it's a system 
error log, which ultimately you can get at that. Um, the way I get at it is from uh, the log cat, um, which you can get um, from within Eclipse. And maybe we'll even we'll even try that. Let's go back into Eclipse for a second. One other thing that we're going to have to do is give permission or get permission um, from the user to actually go out to the internet. And we do that by going to the Android Manifest XML file, we'll let that load, and putting in this line right here. So, uh, uses permission, Android. Well, I'm not going to read that to you. You can see it. So just put in um, this line into your manifest file. And this is granting us permission uh, to go out to the internet. And um, why don't we why don't we go ahead and try this? I'm going to bring up. This other application that allows all of us to look at the phone instead of the uh, the emulator. Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, let's run let's run this and see if we get any errors. Okay, I'm gonna click get quote. And we didn't get any errors, so that's good. So now, um, Let's go into LogCat here. Let's see if this is going to work. I can make this bigger. Okay, um, so let's go back into the code and now I am going to put in H, I'm going to put three T's in there, so obviously that's wrong and let's see what happens. Now I'm going to click get quote and let's go back into Eclipse and LogCat and you can see, and I hope you can see this, uh, we have malform exception unknown protocol H and we see the three T's and the P. So this gives us some information um, to help diagnose uh, problems uh, with our code. So I'm going to go ahead and make that smaller. So now um, we're at least hitting the server, um, but we need to be able to take in uh, that data. And the way we do that is uh, to create an input stream. And let's just put that within our try. So we're going to try to do an input stream. So you type input stream. I'll call the variable stream. And that's going to equal, and we're going to pass it our URL. So this URL is the URL that we created here. So URL and open not connection but open stream so 
Okay, awesome. And I bet you we need to import the package. Yep. So we've done that. And now, what does it tell us here? Oh, hey. This uh, is another um, method that requires uh, a try and catch. 